Today's master of ceremony is the president of the student council, Mr. Muhammad Khan. Please, please rise for the posting of the colors by a color guard and the singing of the national anthem by Mia Mendoza. I want everyone to know that this song does not accurately represent the country that this uh, was built on by stolen land and forced labor. Please continue to fight against injustices in this system and make this country the place it should be. Without further ado, this is my rendition of the National Anthem. Oh, say, can you see? So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the So gallant these streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. seated. We will now have a moment of silence for all those who have lost their lives during this pandemic and unprecedented year.
thank you. This past year has been difficult for so many. My name is Muhammad Khan, your student body president, and it is my pleasure to welcome students, families, and staff to graduation day. Today, I will have the honor of being your guide to officially graduating from Nicholas Sun High School. If I'm being honest, standing here speaking to all of you is a very surreal experience. With the pandemic and all, graduation felt like a dream that was not going to happen. Considering how senior year started off, we were just all mentally preparing ourselves for another virtual graduation. But look at us now, sitting side by side with our friends and our families, just waiting to start the next chapter of our lives. Before you take the next step, there is something I would like to pass on to you all as a student body president. The world today is not full of sunshine and rainbows. It is filled with the opposite, in fact. It hides horrors that we can only imagine, and this is the world we will be stepping into. But we are the next generation. We are the class of 2021. We are the inherit inheritors of this broken world. We hold the power to transform this place and make it turn into a place where people, people can be truly free and a place where sunshine and rainbows can thrive and be abundant. We are the class that holds the power to right the wrongs of the past and carve a better place. Just like at Sen, we used our power to make it a better, more welcoming place for all. We supported each other and we continue to do what we felt was right. And the culmination of all that has led us here today, I challenge you all to continue making those impacts wherever you go. In the end, human life is short and we only get one chance to live. I urge you all to use it to go beyond the stars. Use your power to shatter this world and turn it into the promised land. Buy a house that is the size of Texas. Be the richest person in the world or be more selfish than Mother Teresa. Do them all or pick one. But always and always follow the path of kindness so that you may open doors for yourself as well as for others. There are some doors that kindness alone will not open. So this is where you will need to know what you deserve and you will need to fight to open doors that are meant for you. Today is the start of your story. So use this time right now to aim for someplace beyond the stars to make your mark and use today to write the first letter of your new chapter in life. Today is also my last day and I have some parting words for all of you as well. I just wanna thank you all for supporting me. All that I have done is all thanks to you. You have helped me help you and together we have made the school a better place. Along the way, I have met amazing people and even befriended some during our virtual excursion. All in all, it was an honor being your president and having the opportunity to represent such amazing people. I hope that you all live great lives and hopefully I get a chance to meet some of you in the future that I couldn't meet in high school. Thank you all for an amazing year. Next on our programming is an address given by the principal. So everyone, let's give a warm welcome to Principal Beck. Thank you, Mohammed. Well, it is my pleasure to welcome students, families, and faculty to our graduation day at Nicholas Sun High School. Every one of you sitting here in our audience has made an impact on the graduates who also sit here today. I'm so thankful for this gorgeous weather and that we can highlight our beautiful campus. Additionally, I want to thank all of you, our Sun families, for your patience, your support, and your flexibility as we navigated this tumultuous year. But to be here now with all of you on the day when the state and the city have reopened, it's truly something to be grateful for. This class is special, and not just because they had a non-traditional senior year, but because in spite of it all, they still have had the most scholarship money, $54 million, the most college acceptances, 98% of these students have been accepted to a two or four year school, and they are the largest graduating class in over 30 years. This is only half of our class. This is unbelievable, right? 
Um, I had some time over the last year, and probably all of you did too, right? Um, um, and one day, deep into the pandemic, I was sitting in the building by myself um, and started to dig into the Sun history through the many documents and yearbooks and lore that has been collected over the last 108 years. That's right, this beautiful building behind me is over a century old. Had to do it, sorry. Um, I became fascinated learning about the classes that have come before and the pieces of themselves that they leave behind. There's an extreme sense of pride in the green and white that I hope you all continue to take with you. So what else did I find? Well, the Sen Forum, volume one, number one, from March 1913, the first printed yearbook, opens with what is our motto? Look up, not down. Look forward, not back. Look out and not in, and lend a hand. Did you guys know we have a school motto? Uh, I'm not sure we shared it often, and even without knowing it though, I believe that the class of 2021 embodies this message. Look up, not down. This class definitely has confidence and is always innovating from starting new clubs to self-published magazines. The class of 2021 came in ready to perform both in and out of the classroom. You entered ninth grade as a class nearly double that of the seniors, and you've made an impact from your first steps into our hallways. You helped influence the over $16 million in renovations both in 2018 and 2019, and as sophomores, five of you actually worked with the architects and the construction crew to actually renovate our media center. Your vision is here in this building, and your legacy is part of our fabric. Look forward, not back. The class of 2021, even throughout the 15 months in quarantine, you had your eyes on something better. You knew there would be a brighter days and persevered through long hours in front of a screen to complete multiple college applications, scholarship dollars, jobs, and plan your next steps. You all have ambitious goals for your lives and have not let barriers stop you from achieving them. Look out and not in. From reimagining the student council to starting the service club, I've seen this class care for one another and our community in ways that have been impactful and meaningful. As a class, you strive to make Sen and our community a better place to be, and you've all succeeded. Sen is a better school because of you. Class of 2021, you will be remembered, and not just because of a senior year that was marred by a pandemic, but because of all the work you did before and through it to get you here today. Thank you for leaving a legacy that is truly sensational. Congratulations. Thank you, Ms. Beck. Now I would like to introduce our valedictorians for their addresses. First, we will hear from Sarah Sosa, followed by Alyssa Marshall, and lastly, Zoha Sadia. So everyone, please put your hand together for Sarah Sosa. Welcome, students, teachers, family, and staff who made these four years all that they were. Joyous, exciting, rigorous, but ever so rewarding. My name is Sarah Sosa, and it's my privilege and pleasure as one of your three valedictorians to welcome you to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2021. Come on, let's give it up. Yes. Wonderful. Throughout our high school career, we've undergone many marvelous experiences. One might even say these experiences resemble the transforming chapters of the book recounting our lives. Let's go down memory lane, shall we, as we flip through a few times we've shared. As first years, we attended Freshman Connection, where we had the opportunity to explore the building for the first time and heavily research and present significant topics affecting our communities in the form of our initial service learning projects. There, we learned how vital teamwork is if we truly want to achieve change. 
Later on that year, many of us attended the beach clean at Osterman Beach, where we collectively cleaned up the litter, polluting one of our city's magical public environmental landscapes. The beach clean cultivated our dedication to taking care of the environment while we felt joy basking in the great outdoors. A portion of the book we didn't want to read, but that changed us for the better, occurred that same year, the deadly school shooting in Parkland, Florida. This moved us enough to walk out of our classes and march to Representative Janice Schakowsky's office, urging her to save us students by pushing for gun reform in Illinois. This tragedy in Florida fueled the beginning of our efforts as a class to activism and empowerment through peaceful protest, some of the most important attributes we will continue to carry beyond these four walls. We were later delighted by a surprise visit from Bella Thorne and Patrick Schwarzenegger promoting their new movie at the time, taking photos and discussing with us the true cost of fame. And we also mustn't forget the delicious aroma of popcorn in the air every second Tuesday of the month while Mr. Roy belted at the top of his lungs, popcorn for sale, get your bag of popcorn. <laughs> Yeah, or all the laughs we shared eating snow cones and watching our cheerleaders, dance team, and the Jesse White Tumblers perform at our annual club day, or watching our student athletes being honored, or watching our band perform the homecoming opening ceremony every year. Don't you all remember when we stood in solidarity with our teachers in the longest teacher strike in more than 30 years, demanding better compensation, an increase in nurses and social workers, and the reduction of class sizes? or the sit-in where we protested racial discrimination. Oh, I'm just getting started here, folks. Or at March to College, where we learned about how to prepare for, apply to, and gear up for college. Or in the lunchroom, where we stood in the outrageously long lines for food, or where we broke the ice cream machine and were banned from using it thereafter. <laughs> or ever trying completion of the personal project. Or those of us who trudged through a push solely to go see Hamilton. Who could forget our penning and award ceremonies? Or the Ivy Banquet? Or the Junior College Fair? Or those field trips to art galleries and museums around the city? And how about the opening sign lines of Rock With You by MJ in the morning, along with the Star Wars theme blaring on the PA system between passing periods? These are undoubtedly only a few of the amazing chapters in our story we shared throughout our experience at Sun. Our time at 5900 North Glenwood Avenue hasn't been without its challenges, but a key aspect of what makes us unique is our resilience. Most recently, we endured over a year of remote learning, but we didn't let that stop us. Despite long hours on the computer, trying our best to participate in class and to complete our assignments remotely, we completed college applications and eventually received acceptances to hundreds of schools, offering millions of dollars in aid. The class of 2021 wasn't awarded this money by luck, rather through the utmost grit and determination. As a matter of fact, when COVID hit, we worked harder than ever before, both as devoted students and as contributed members of this society. We took action because we realized how much was at stake in this world if we didn't. How injustice, discrimination, political corruption, environmental destruction, and hate weren't simply going to disappear if we didn't take a stand. We did more than simply rise to the occasion and set trends. We started a movement towards a more equitable and loving world. A world in which we embrace diversity. A world in which we explore and understand new perspectives and reject any groups or systems that say otherwise. Being cooped up at home truly revealed to us what we knew deep inside all along. Change is impossible without the upstanders. And all of that started here at Sun. Seeing those wondrous and grand flags from the hundreds of countries and languages we represent and the multicultural performances by the student body during International Fest always brought a tear to my eye because I was reminded on those days that we don't simply represent Sen High School. We represent the world we fight to achieve. Thank you all for these last four years. I will cherish what we have learned. And I will marvel at the story that these pages and these chapters have told of our high school experience forever. Thank you.
to learn. It is such a powerful verb, as its meaning is so varied depending on who you ask. To gain new knowledge, to grow and change as a person, self-realization. Learning encompasses it all, and thankfully, Sun High School provided the setting to our story. For 51 minutes a day, five days a week, we sat in front of teachers who made it their goal to have us learn as much as we could before getting sidetracked by weekend plans, food we were craving, a new show on Netflix, or what was happening in the hall. And for the most part, they were successful. Four years of math class bestowed upon us new and creative ways to solve problems, even if doing so required the use of equations that still make our heads spin to this day. The sciences allowed us a greater look into the functionality of the world around us, ensuring that we understood how and why life presents itself the way it does. Our English classes taught us the necessary components of the language, as well as offered a glimpse into the lives of others from different time periods, countries, and cultures. This will forever be valuable, as it encouraged us to take into consideration how the experiences of others shape their actions and motivations. In art class, we learned about artists and techniques from contemporary to classic, but we were also given the freedom to express ourselves in brand new ways through media and symbolism, granting us the opportunity to explore our own minds and tell our own stories like never before. Music classes taught us the value of commitment. They demonstrated how rewarding hard work can be when the final product is a reflection of all of the effort that was put into making the piece the best that it could be. The social studies classes were all so different, yet each of them allowed us to truly think about how the past impacts the present and the future. They constantly reminded us to pay attention to the voices and stories of those who have been forgotten throughout history. And our language classes took being receptive to a new level. We were exposed to the cultures, traditions, and customs of countless countries, while we simultaneously attempted to learn how to communicate in languages that many of us were completely unfamiliar with outside of the classroom. The chapters of this book are undoubtedly full, as we have absorbed so much content throughout our time at Sen. But we also learned more about ourselves, more about our global responsibilities, more about what it means to be a contributor to society ideas and concepts that a textbook, a jam board, or any assessment criterion cannot teach us. In talking or occasionally begging our way out of homework for a night, we learned that most adults can only take so much before giving in. No matter the strategies we students implored, stalling for as long as possible to avoid discussing school-related activities, etc., we learned just how much teachers love talking about their pets, their kids, their random high school stories, right? But genuinely, aside from being students, we learned and grew as people within the walls of Sen. Our students were given the freedom to explore their own paths and interests and truly learn about themselves without having to follow the criteria or requirements of others. Journalism students were able to acquire a newfound confidence in themselves and in their abilities, establishing passions for storytelling and having the opportunity to work closely with others who shared their sentiments. IB students were pushed to think outside of the box by questioning why it is that we think the way we do, by exploring diverse viewpoints, and by reevaluating our original ideas before coming to a conclusion. And all of this has reassured our ability to, to resolve issues, to solve problems, and to work collaboratively well beyond our time as high school students. We are truly grateful to have experienced each element of the plot that contains our story. I can say with certainty that there were times we wished the school day could be over before it even started. But after spending so much time away from the building, it has become clear that nothing quite compares to seeing students running or still walking rather slowly to class after the bell rang. Nothing quite compares to looking at the art on the walls that our peers crafted. Nothing compares to the cafeteria line that took up a third of our lunch period because it was so long. And nothing compares to the stress we would always complain about during passing periods simply because of an upcoming test or quiz, which in hindsight, we realized weren't nearly as life or death as we made them out to be. We are thankful for all of the moments that made us uncomfortable. The times in class in which we were pushed outside of our comfort zones by having to speak in front of others, like right now, or share aspects of ourselves oops, that we weren't sure would be, would be well received. We are thankful for our teachers who never gave up on any of their students, even when we likely would have if the roles were reversed. We are thankful for all of the friends who have come and gone throughout the past four years, as each of you has shaped us into the individuals we are today individuals who are proud of who we've become. We are thankful for every student sitting here today, whether you are our best friend or person we have only encountered once in the hallway, 
for our high school experience would not have been the same without you. The tale of the class of 2021 at Sen High School has reached its conclusion, though our individual stories are far from over. I honor each and every one of you as you continue to draft that story of yours, as you continue to add more chapters to the story that you can call your own. Thank you. And now, we stand here today in that future we longed for during those sleepless nights and stressful days when all we wanted was to be done with high school. The wait is over, class of 2021. The once distant reality is now scribed on an 11 by 14 piece of paper with each of our names in fancy font. The future is here. Today, we leave Sen High School as adults into a world we are responsible for creating. We are even going to have to schedule our own doctor's appointments and pay our own taxes. I know, scary, right? And if you're still afraid to ask for condiments or a napkin at a restaurant, it's time to step up. It's time to speak up for yourself. While we may not have the support we've been blessed to have so far, we still have ourselves. As long as you're willing to believe in yourself and to remain committed to what you want, nothing will stop you from reaching your goals. I may be a stranger to many of you here, but I know something special about us. I know we made it here. We are here despite the larger than life speed bumps that despite their many attempts could never slow us down. I know each one of us has seemingly hidden potential that will appear boldly in the years to come. Some of us will move on to college or trade school. Some of us will go directly into the workforce and some of us will take time to travel the world. No matter what our future holds, we will walk our own paths. And of course, along the way, we will anticipate additional hurdles. As we face each hurdle, I ask of myself and you, my classmates, to face those temporary obstacles with our heads held high and honesty in our hearts. We've been given the paper and the ink to this book called Life. It's now our turn to choose the words. Whether we choose to make a mark or simply scribble all over the page, we have the power to create the most beautiful story. In just a few moments, as we embrace our friends, our families, and our former teachers, it will likely be the last time we see some of these faces. Therefore, embrace the moment. Remember the memories we made here at Sen. Let's store them in our hearts. In a few years, when we look back, we will recall the unprecedented struggles, but we'll look to them as a source of inspiration. We are bulldogs, we are resilient. As I, scan the, as I scan the crowd for the last time today, I see the future of our country. I see graduates of every color, every ethnicity, every culture, every religion, every gender, and every class. A perfectly beautiful microcosm of the entire world on this very lawn. To be part of this diverse student community has truly been an honor and privilege. I'm proud to share this life milestone with all of you. Let's bookmark today as the end of a very long yet bittersweet chapter of high school that's blessed us with countless lessons and memories. More importantly, let's turn the page to new beginnings and to new stories. Muchas felicidades, felicitación, Mubarak, complimenti. Tahanina, Kataluye, excuse me for this one. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Congratulations to us, the Sen High School class of 2021. Thank you so much for the inspiring speeches, Valedictorians. Now is the time for our musical selection which will be played by our sensational students. Let me just fix this a bit. Okay. They will be playing Good Riddance by Green Day. So everyone, let's welcome, let's give it up for our talented students. Another turning point of folks to 
presentation of the diplomas, which will be done by Principal Beck and our counselors. So everyone, let's put our hands together for Principal Beck and our counselors. The time is here. Abraham Al Khatib Laila Al Khatib Barakat Arimu Muntum Royal Aroolo <laughs> Leah Arroyo <laughs> Jaylene Arzamendi <laughs> Marissa Beg. Janus Edison Banag Jada Banton Brandon Benitez Jesslyn Bowers Jonas Briggs <laughs> Destiny Brown <laughs> Osmari Calderon <laughs> Ariel Callahan Trayvon Campbell Mario Canaliso Javelin Cole Ladies and gents, the graduate
switch need to come up the middle, so I need you out of this aisle. Thank you. Thank you, guys. No, no worries, hurry. It's way too hot for them. Lynette Conde. Caitlin Conde. Steven Cortez. Sergio Cruces Lopez. Christian Cruz. Kevin Cruz. Roman Cruz. Pa Da. Erickson De La Cruz. Liza Dwight. Alessandro Diaz. Aiden Dolan. Maya Duran. Deshauna Dyson Underwood. Erica Espino. Pedro Fernandez. Farouk Kaji. Destiny Gallegos. Anatao Ganga. Bernice Garcia. David Garcia. Ivan Garcia Paredes. Jakari Gates. Jaquan Gill. Harris Gull. Etsiri Gutierrez. Sandy. Sandy Guzman. Derek Hawkins Harris. Janet Hernandez. Steve Hernandez. Amari Hicks. Tassine Hussein. Danny Hua. Layla Hudson. Oyindamola Igun. Maxwell Ingram. Jacob Irizari. Ava Jennings.
and a Karen Jimenez. D. Jones. Sander Jones. Antoinette Joseph. Udadia Kadir. Nanapus Kirtambu. Zane Khan. Idris Khan. Manil Kilik. Roman Khan. Gideon Kodoa. Panayores Kuchukos. Amel Kovacevic. Faith Lalinkui. Rafael Laredo. Trish Lee. Nia Lee. Alejandro Luna. Michael Luviano. Owusu. <laughs> Jasmina Kosich. <laughs> Charisma Alec. Taylor McNelson. Armin Mamutovich. Gabriel Marquez. Miguel Marquez. Cynthia Mejia. Ingrid Mendez. Elizabeth Mershan. Mohammed Isa Sayed. Mohammed Andan. <laughs> Makara Molon Mangai. <laughs> Jonah Morgan. Brian Mota. <laughs> Hashim Mohammed. <laughs> Gembi Muhadir. <laughs> Ismail Muratala. <laughs> Yaman Nandolia. Jarvis Neal. <laughs> De 
Devon Nesbitt. Min Win. Gabrielle Nicholas. Hamdan Noman. Naomi Ochia. Grace Olea. Alicia Ortega. Juliana Ortuño. Zainab Oshibote. Maya Mercedes Pagan. Helku Pa. Pasa Pa. Aldo Perez Villa. Jadon Pinder. Evan Petroda. Conrad Pogorzelski. Shashir Pokarella. Elsie Kimada. <laughs> Dua Rahil. <laughs> Estefania Ramirez. <laughs> Talfu and Ilari. Corelli Ramirez. <laughs> Antonio Rebeles. <laughs> Xavier Reyes. <laughs> Sammy Risby. <laughs> George Rodriguez. <laughs> Maya Rogers. <laughs> Sophia Ruiz. <laughs> Christian Silgado. Phoenix Sanchez. Michelle Santillan. Michael Schindler. Ezra Shen Uz. Anwar Shemshuddin. Andrew Smith. Yar Sal. Jonathan Solomon. Valeria Soto. <laughs> Jeremiah Stone. <laughs> Laik Sayed. <laughs> Emily.
Esteban Taboada. Tariana Thomas. Patricia Tikau. Axel Toledo. Joanna Vinale. Ruby Vogosang. Julia Walkenheimer. Ariel Wallace. Ava Zancantego Gomez. Walter White. Mark Zogorilek. Jeremiah Wood. Word. Antonio Zapata. Sad Zaveri. Saul Zapata. Tyshawn Zodikoffer. Akrim Yanos. Priscilla Yaboa. Armiran Jordan. <laughs> Darrell Burns. <laughs> Mohammed Khan. Alyssa Marshall. <laughs> Zoha Sadia. <laughs> Sarah Sosa. Francesco Angelo Acaba. <laughs> Tima Adeanju. <laughs> Fatiha Akinwande. <laughs> Araceli Alcaide. <laughs> Abraham Al Khatib. Fatima Ali. They told me I read too slow last time. Now I'm reading too fast. Neil Alonso. Iwara Sheju Anosike. Antonetta and Chev. Jasmine Apollonio. Anna Ariaga. 
Vernon Avant. Yaelene Ayala. Yusuf Azizi. Michelle Barrera. Javier Barron. Abril Barcelopre. Nathan Perhe. Wendy Blanco. Giovanni Bolton. Gabriela Bonilla. Jayla Boyd Cooper. Allison Bridges. Kwame Bridges. Sarah Brock. Ariel Busio. Jordi Caballero. Jimmy Kai. Kevin Camacho. Jocelyn Canchola. Christian Cano. Melissa Carbajal. Neda Carreto Cardona. Mia Carter. Christian Castrejon. Ashley Castrejon. Isabella Chamberlain. Tanya Chamorro. Zhao Ying Chen. Edward Childress. Stanley Shumilares. Abdul Karim Chota. Rahima Chota. Jacqueline Cigaroa Antaveros. Avery Clark. Tatiana Collymore. Finn Conley. <laughs> Ashley Michelle Cordobo. <laughs> Benjamin Corral. <laughs> Ashley Cox. <laughs> Haley Cruz. <laughs> Cecilia Dantanek. <laughs> Na Den. <laughs> Tiffany Dow. Reedy Daz. <laughs> Sh 
Shimate does. Taylor Davis. Amin Deary. Ira Dews. Sandra Dulal. Madeline Eccleston. Alia Agdebebi. Keenan Elkes. Emmanuel, Emmanuel Okeke. Anna Esquivel. Afifa Fahim. Alessandra Fumara. Diana Flatchusis. Sophia Fleck. Arturo Fuentes. Ingrid Garcia. Serenity Givens Sheets. Alejandra Gomez Ramos. Cynthia Gonzalez. Kendall Griffin. Alejandro Guerrero. Artasia Guy. Alyssa Hammock. Kayla Hansen. Angel Castulo. Lorencia Haynes. Jacqueline Herrera. Andrea Herrera. Mohammed Hassan. <laughs> Ellen Huerta. <laughs> Ero Ibrahimovic. <laughs> Katia Jaimez Martinez. <laughs> Jaywilin Jefferson Lindsay. Mario Jimenez. Tess Jimenez. Shayla Johnson. Gar Knago. Amar Khalid. Nicole Kwasny.
Felice Lee. Hanbi Lee. Paloma Leon. Leila Lopez. Maya Lupescu. Utokshki Mahimwala. Daniela Martinez. Yasmin Martinez. Emable Matumaini. Lauren Meyer. Michael Melendez. Elizabeth Melman. Alfredo Mendoza. Angela Mendoza. Mia Mendoza. Joshua Middlebrooks. Naomi Mixon. Winifred Mora. Francisco Ochoa. Edith Oladipo. Samantha Oliva. Isosa Omamunfuan. Penelope Padilla. Alex Palchisaka. Anthony Pecora. Jonathan Perez. Stephanie Perez. Tran Pham. Janet Pham. Joseph Piper. Jennifer Ramirez. Karen Jessica Ramirez. <laughs> Isabella Rangel. <laughs> Michaela Reed. <laughs> Dalal Rafay. Esteban Reyes. <laughs> Michaela Angelica Reyes. <laughs> Mohammed Riaz. <laughs> Giatano Rizzo. Gina Robledo. Yeah. 
Diana Rosales. Michael Rule. Alexander Ruiz. Leslie Ruiz Rivera. Hajmina Sagir. Nazma Sagir. Leah Salau. Giovanni Salinas. Let's go, Giovanni! Ismael Santiago. Lisbeth Santos. Jasmine Sangura. Mohammed Shazad. Marcia Shane. Brenda Shorter. Mia Silva. Ava Struff. Jimmy Tangbay. Emmanuel Targaro. Kuso Tal. Yasek Tishal. Caleb Thomas. Jody Sang. Olivia Vu. Helena Westhoff. Samaya Williams. Karen Villamizer. Chantrell Winfield. Sebastian Voicewaff. Sunny Wong. Juno Shong. Abukar Kaiser. Amari Price. Diana Rosales. Kevin Nagpal. Ariel Martin Reed. Nairi Tyler. Zilong Jin. Celine Campbell. Rachel Abu. Rachel! Emmanuel Izocha. Yeah. 
Mohammed Khan. <laughs> Alyssa Marshall. <laughs> Zoha Sadia. <laughs> and Sarah Sosa. Graduates, stand, please. Class of 2021, you may turn your tassels. Congratulations. Again, the class of 2020.